your thighs, relax, your leg falling out, your joint, then you go for the reins. Go straight, uphill, follow the fence line. So, go, yeah, follow the fence line. Good. Take your contact. Now, ask for a leg heel to the right, your left leg towards the fence a little bit. Good. Put, I want you to put the left leg. Good. Outside a half hold, send him over. Good. Now give a little bit, lengthen the top line an inch and canter on. Canter on. Canter. Can I? Uh, go for another leg yield. In the moment you canter on, give on the left rein. Good. Beautiful. Wait, now yeah, bring him back. Try again. No problem. Don't, it's a little bit of problem we had before with Mrs. Pink. <laughs> Miss Pinky. She had also a little bit heavy. She had a right rein. Your left rein is a little bit too heavy. So you need your right rein in place and shake your left rein off. Yeah? Ask for some shoulder in like position. Can on. Your right rein has to stay. Your, your left, your inside goes forward in the moment you can on. Or you can open your inside rein to the inside. Just put your hand, two hands inside. Good. And keep him outside. Keep him outside. Stay on the circle. Keep him outside. And as you have him between your legs, now give, let them, get him, give him his neck a little bit. So that the neck falls to withers level. This is better. Open your inside rein a little bit. Keep him straight outside. Keep him on the outside rein. Have your legs on. Keep care for the canter with your legs. Many people do way too much with the seat. Good. Deeper, deeper top line, deeper neck down, nose forward. Neck down, nose forward. Care. Inside the rain is your artist. You care a little bit, you organize and lengthen outside half inch. And come back and give another inch. And come back and open your inside rain again. Have your legs on. Relax, lazy, soft, heavy, nice position, sit, sit down, yeah? outside a half hold and give, don't hang on this right leg, Fe leading yes, but not hanging, never hang on the ring, good, much better, now lengthen him another inch, now keep him between your legs, good, care, your legs, good, the transition to trot you ride by invisible release, you just give a little bit, Good. Rising. Very nice. He was a good stumbling. Have you seen it? Yeah. Don't let him fall to pieces. Be trot. We are not falling to the grave. So, we don't stop cantering. We start to trot. There's a difference. Yeah? You would not ask for a stretch after either you stretch him in canter or you ride a transition to trot. Then you ride trot first and stretch him then. But you would not just throw everything away. We ride transitions. Yes, yeah, some people just stop cantering and then everything falls apart. <coughs> I resemble that. <laughs> Good. Do, do you like this trot? Yes. I love it. You look beautiful. Nice rhythm. Nice. Change direction on the figure of eight. A nice open figure of eight and go for a medium trot. And go. And drive. And drive. And drive. On the figure of eight, wherever you want. Good, and drive. This was a strange decision, but okay. And go, okay, and go. Uphill, hands down, go. Pushing power, power, yeah? Don't overdo it, but forward, good. Yes, outside the half hold is missing. Caring half hold and release. Half hold is only a half hold after you have given, yeah? If you close your hand, you finish the half hold, in the moment you release. This can be the smallest little vibration. You have to release. Each time you, you talk to the mouth, you are actively influencing the horse's mouth. You release afterwards. Only then it was a half hold. A tiny little one, a bigger one, a tempo changing one, a life changing half hold, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, we have all types of half holds. <laughs> Shake your inside wrist loose. 
Move your shoulder. Good. Go for a full stretch down to the buckle. Good. Very nice, April. Good job. And walk, short rest. In an older horse, he's not old, but he's not very young anymore. Better shorter intervals and the 